testing testing hey guys I'm gonna show you how I make beats people on discord often like to criticize the way I make beats because it does not apply to the rules of music theory I like to personally just make my own scale I think it sounds perfectly fine I think people in the past like Sharpie have tried to do the same thing and gotten canceled for it but I'm gonna show you how I make beats how I've always made beats so here we go. I'm going to start by making my own melody. This melody is going to carry out to be the scale of the rest of the FLP. That sounds good enough to me. shit about music theory. I'm just doing what I'm doing. And now this is important because just to make it simpler, I'm going to duplicate and layer this. This is going to be the scale for the rest of the uh for the rest of the song. All right? Now, an extra step that I don't always do, but I'm going to do just for the sake of an example. I get a little sampler sometimes. If I don't think that the scale is quite right, I take all these notes and I make my own scale with ghost notes. You may have seen this method before, you may have seen people make ghost notes in the past, but usually that's with a scale from up here, uh, somewhere up here. I think it's in helpers. I'm too retarded, I can't really find out. Yeah. Usually people go over here and find their scale. I make a melody that sounds good enough to my ears and I make a scale based off that. And there we go, that should be our scale. And this is what I would normally do. I now have my own scale, my own custom scale that I've made. And what I'm gonna do now is make a melody completely based off this custom scale. And that's how I do all my beats. I don't know any music theory I don't know any scales. This is how I do it. I know I can't hear this because it's a sampler, but I mute it anyway. And now I'm just going to show you guys the rest of the beat making process. Might speed it up. just right now is a uh, CRM and Nexus so that's all I got that sounds good my problem with making beats is I just go with the first sound I hear I could have better sound selection but fuck it first but now we're just gonna go with this simple melody with no counter just for the sake of example now what I do is I mix the whole melody before I put a beat in there all right and I arrange the entire melody before I put a beat in there <laughs> I have to mumble under my breath because my grandma is watching TV right next to me. I 
got a little gross beat. plugins for mixing so haven't cracked I mean bought them yet I just use stock plugins Q means. It sounds good when I put it up there. I've been using FL Studio since I was 16. I'm 22 now. And I'm kind of just a gamer. I kind of just figured it out with trial and error. At first my beats sounded like Sharpies, but then they started to get a lot better. And I never learned anything. I just taught myself. <laughs> too much. It can sound a little shallow because I have this bass here. So. Okay. So now we have that. So now I'm going to go ahead delete that sampler. Maybe delete. How do I delete it? What's the, what's the shortcut? There is no shortcut. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and arrange. We're going to arrange that melody. I'm going to go ahead and actually automate the gross beat to just make it a little even more than what it is. It's not really even more though, it's just an illusion. I'm going to paste that, put it to 100 go another thing and then boom so there's our arrangement right then and there delete the rest loop that bitch all right let's see what we got we're gonna have this beat now real quick real quick I make a little thing beat i don't like beats they don't taste very good all right here we go I use only like one or two drum kits, Benny X, uh, Death Oblivion, and um, Producer Heaven has everything I need personally. Anyway. <laughs> I'm bad at arranging, so I arrange the melody ahead of time before I even put the beat down. Now we're going to put the beat down.
I do need to check. I just put that on G4. So is it G4? Yeah, we have G4 in the melody. As long as the notes match, I consider it a perfectly fine beat. So, there's my logic. We're gonna do a little yeet hi-hat type thing. you do that I feel like this is an old school way to do it I feel like people just nowadays use their ears this one's good I think this one's a C as well yeah that's C so these are both good remember to boost those and then uh, now we're gonna go uh, we're gonna probably do like a bang bang right there C5s, but I'm not sure that was in the melody. Yes, it is. Is it? Like... Yeah, apparently it is. So then we're good. And now I'm gonna mix. Here's my mixing process clap first, kick second, 808 third. I have two 808s. Never put them, even if they're the same sound, I never put them in the same mixer. You definitely want to get a a fully thorough mix. Never do that, even if it's the melody. Even if you literally copied the same melody, don't have them in the same mixer. Personal advice. All right, this should be eight, nine, ten. Boom, boom. It's good to be organized. That's what the member of this one server has, uh, told me before he kicked me from the server. And then four, boom, boom. <laughs> Now we're going to go ahead and mix this. I have a, I'm not going to give away my sauce for mixing. Maybe I'll do that if this video gets popular, but I have them preloaded. You can see it right there, but I'm not going to show you the uh, in-depth. Make some hard as fuck. Pause. Resume. We're going to get the kick mixer state. I made all these mixer states. Don't worry, I'm not cheating. And then the 808 mixer state. It's just a little cheat code for me. I do it so many times, so I just pre-saved it. They hit so much. I have another 808, actually. Oh, my God. I'm making this beat on a Walmart laptop right now. Honestly, this whole beat sounds pretty nice. I'm going to make a little bus right here. Bus. And then I'm going to attach the kick. And I'm just going to side chain them real quick. Uh, side chain, boom, boom, boom. And then just to boost 
relaxed them a bit. I'm going to put this warmness setting for Maximus. And then this little, wait, wait, which one is that one? This one, it doesn't really need to be boosted. Much better, much better. And I guess I will show off how I make a uh, kicks and in, in it or kicks eight oh eights and claps hit harder. I go on a free filter, I find the frequency range of the sound, boost the Q, whatever that means, and boost the gain. Super hitting harder. Add some reverb. There's a little bit of sauce for you. Too much reverb, boom. Wait, did I even put the clap setting on my reverb? No. Kick and the, and the clap should be level with each other. The kick can always be a little bit less. The clap should always be the loudest. That free filter is a god for me personally. I spam free filter. Even on this, I'm going to spam free filter. This is like around 12,000. Boost it up to 7.5 high all the way already hits harder i'm gonna add a wave shaper just so it hits a little more hard and i'm gonna hit it with a multi-band compressor 4-4 four, four setting yeah it already peaks really better i'm gonna put a soft clipper on that bitch too and then i could do another free filter but i think i'm actually gonna do a little thing i like to do i like to do half opacity half speed Opacity is a term for picture editing, but I don't know music theory, so I just call the mix level opacity. Yeah, sounds dope. Got, it adds a little extra thing. What's this? Oh, that's the bus. That's the bus. That's the bus. So we should be good. I'm going to turn this down 2.4, and then I'm going to add multi band compressor 2.4. So just give it a little extra compression. And then I'm actually going to just do a quick little master as well. Boom, 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 boom. I like to cut the master at 24 hertz because that's anything lower than 24 hertz the human ear cannot hear, I've been told at least. Again, don't know shit about music theory. So this video is really just to kind of flex that I don't know shit about music theory, but I make beats like this. Now we're going to have a little bit of work to do with this. I like to mess with the bring it down a little bit. We're going to bring this down to 2.4. I find that to be a sweet spot. I'm going to bring the gain down. And then we got to also bring the sustain release and attack down. What if I make this uh, 808 wide? I honestly don't think it needs any merging. That should be good enough for me. So now boom, 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 boom. Every now and then when the beat switches, I like to just make the beat unique. And then this is how I add variety. Boom. And now I'm just going to say, you know what? I want to take off the kick. Boom. I'll just add a little triple kick. And then, you know what? I'm going to actually... I don't even want... I don't even want to... Idle, or I, wait. I think I might have done that wrong. Wait. No, I think I think I'm in the right spot. No kick. So I just got confused, so I'm just gonna play it safe. Do it again. I make the beat unique. I remove the kick. Boom.
So, okay, it seems like I have a bunch of the beat right here. So I've messed up a little bit, but that's fine. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna split this and get all my beats. Alright, boom, boom, boom. There's Nexus. I'm gonna move that to the bottom. This is not usually the method, but since this has happened, I'm just gonna make sure I have everything. Serum. That was not in the plans, but it's okay. That should be right, right here. Yeah. All right. That was not the plan. Usually I just have the same thing all in its own little um, pattern, right? And I just make it unique. But since that didn't work, something happened. I will just put it in manually. I do that as well. I just find that the arrangement isn't as good. So let's see the duplicates we have here, because I messed up. We have a crispy clap. We have open hi -hat from beat number three. Okay. So we got the snare, the hat. That should, right, that should be right. That should be right. So then we got the kick, the clap. Put the 808 here. Put the other 808 here. Hat, snare. Hat should be up here. The snare should be. So that should be the whole beat. I shouldn't have missed anything. They tried to mess me up. They didn't know I was good. <laughs> So since it wanted to do me like that, I would just arrange right here, and it should be simple. Take the kick off right here. Take off the open hat. Actually, take the open hat hat off right there. And then we're gonna do boom boom. Yeah. <laughs> studio with no knowledge of music theory i even showed how i overcome mess ups so that was cool that wasn't planned <laughs> now i'm gonna add my little gay ass little tag that everybody hates on but i think it's nice and uh <laughs> then we'll be good to go
also going to do, I'm going to make this unique for this little segment. I'm going to put it up one octave. And then we'll be good. Just boop, boop, boop. I just didn't like the way it was clashing with the 808. So, uh, Here's the point that I wanted to make with this video. If you don't know shit about music theory, don't fucking worry. You can use trial and error. And it'll make it take a lot longer for you to learn. But you know what else is going to happen? What else is going to happen is you're going to generate your own sound as you're going through the trial and error to learn how to make beats. And I prefer that way over any way of learning from some YouTube video. I never looked up a scale in my life. I never looked up how to mix. Never looked up anything. I just used to watch Nick Mira and Pink Girls 88 cook up, and I used to watch them do it. Take some advice from, from them. Take some pointers from them just from watching their streams. And I would just basically go through trial and error and figure out how to do it on my own. So let's hear it. Rudy Webber, better than hell. <laughs> kicking in I should get rid of this boss 808 and only have it in for there see this is the trial and error I'm talking about I thought I was done now I'm done hey, hey, hey. <laughs> tracks for 808 that is not correct for 808s i actually put a bass boost wide delay 
Has off clipper and an EQ. Yeah, that's not correct. <laughs>